Good day, everyone. So a little while back, I did a accuracy test of the ISDT BG8S, and it determined that, well, it's not quite 100% accurate, at least not as to the specifications. But there is a way to calibrate this unit. And this video, I will show you how to do that. So ideally, in order to be able to calibrate the unit, you will need an 8S battery. Now I'll use a pack that I used previously. which is this. So this is a pack that I, I built. Uh, these cells are quite weak and exhibit a high self-discharge rate, but it should be sufficient for my purpose. So it is important to make sure that your connector is good uh, and is, is well connected. Otherwise, you may have a hard time during the calibration if uh, the connection isn't done properly. Now, another thing you'll need is a voltmeter. So ideally is you'd get a high accuracy fluke meter or, or a similar which are quite expensive so instead I'm going to use the same meter I used last time uh, now this is a unit that I purchased off the internet um, many years ago it, it seems quite reliable but I know that the meter actually shows uh, a little bit low um, the voltage is a little low but that doesn't matter um, I'll show you how to make do with uh, with that as long as it's consistent and it's, uh, it's fairly accurate, you should have good results. Now, ideally, your voltmeter should be able to display up to one millivolt accuracy. Uh, now, this one, on, by default, it, it's uh, auto-select. So right now, it's showing, I have a, a volt um, power supply, and it's showing 3.581, which is perfect. That would work. Now, uh, if I increase the voltage, and as I increase the voltage, eventually you'll see that voltmeter will only show 10 millivolts. So right now 3.710. And as you can see, it's shifted over. Now if I go back down, so right now it only is displaying 3.91, so I'm losing the last digit. And see now I'm, uh, I'm decreasing the voltage and it's taken a while before it actually shifts over. You see, on three point, it actually shifted the, the decimal point. So what you want to do is make sure your pack is charged to a voltage where your meter is able to display uh, three decimal points because that's how uh, the ICT is able to display. Now another thing you need or would be good to have is a laptop with a spreadsheet uh, application. Now I'm going to use uh, this laptop with Excel. Uh, you could also use OpenOffice or uh, worst case scenario you can just do right, jot the numbers down manually. Uh, now what we need to do is proceed with uh, checking the voltage on each of the individual cells and then uh, write that down into the spreadsheet and then uh, do the same with the uh, what's displayed on the ISDT meter. So when measuring the cells you should start by the negative most battery which on this one is over here and make sure that you have a good reading. So here you see I have 3.66 Let's go with 3.669 and enter that in the spreadsheet. So under the first cell, under voltmeter, we're going to go ahead and put 3.669. And we'll go on to the next cell, 3.659. Now cell number three. 3.645 cell number 4 3.660 cell number 5 3.669 cell number 6 3.655 
Psalm number 7, 3.667. And finally, cell number 8, 3.638. Okay, now let's see with the voltmeter displays, I mean the ISDT, and that's a lot easier, now we can just put the number, punch the numbers in, 3 .693, 3 .679, 3.6 Six, three point six nine one, three point six nine one, three point six nine eight, three point six nine four, and finally three point six eight four. Okay. So now we look at the spreadsheet and uh, as I indicated before, the voltmeter indicates a little low compared to the ISDT um, and I don't want to, I'm going to do the minimum adjustment possible. So if I look at cell number two over here, you see that it has the least amount of a difference compared to the voltmeter, so 20 millivolts. So well, this spreadsheet automatically selects the lowest value and subtract, subtract that from all the other values to get the adjustment required. So you can see that the cell number two will require no adjustment. Uh, cell number one will require one millivolt, uh, four millivolts of adjustment and so on. So now how do we actually adjust the ISDT? Well, you have to go into the system information and you have to make sure that the OS uh, is fairly recent. I know that uh, if you look on the uh, ISDT website they implemented the uh, calibration feature. I don't remember exactly what uh, version but uh, this I think it's let's say 1.0010 so this one is uh, much more recent so it'll have the calibration uh, available. So what you have to do is on the uh, button, the middle button here, you hold it for a couple seconds, let it go, hold it for a few seconds, let it go, and you do that three times, and then you can see the calibration setting. So that's the second setting there. Now you have to actually punch in the unlock key, so they want to do that to make it a little bit more uh, complicated so they don't accidentally go in and mess up your settings. So you have numbers and letters. So when it's numbers, uh, you just go up, nine, zero, five. E, I go down, so see the letters. And you press the hold button. So now you have the values that it's displayed and you can now adjust them. Now, so if I look at the spreadsheet over here, the first one requires a four millivolt adjustment. So we will drop that by four. So we press the button and we go down by four. So the second one requires no adjustment. The third one needs to go down by 21. So number four requires us to go down by 11. So number five, only two. So number six, 23. Cell number seven is seven. And cell number eight is 26.
OK. So now we press the metal button again, and these are the, the results. So let's go and punch in again these numbers into the spreadsheet and see how, uh, how close we got to being accurate. So now you can see that the, the, the adjustment is much, uh, much less here. We only have 0 0.06 and 0 0.07. And so uh, at this point, we could say that it's close enough. Or if you want to fine tune it some more, you can measure each cell individually and add 20 millivolts to the reading. So here we have 3.654. You add 20 millivolts, that's 3.674. And here you have 3.677. So that's only three millivolts off. So that would be more than uh, accurate enough. So you could go through the cells one by one and do some further fine tuning if you want to. Now, obviously, this is the way you would do it if you had an, an actual accurate uh, voltmeter that you can that you have full confidence in. You just go in, measure each cell, plug in, uh, go into the calibration menu, and adjust it exactly what to what exactly you see on the meter. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful. Thanks for watching. Until next time.